When we started, they are all right. They are all right. Everybody here! Oh, 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 Granddad, hey. <laughs> there's a strong necessity to let people know exactly the history of Afrobeat, to know exactly where Afrobeat started from, and to know exactly how our artists over the ages have struggled to uplift Afrobeat to be what it is today. To see Whiskey, Bono Boy, David Doe enjoying some of the massive fame and also other artists as well is so incredible. The show was sold out despite rumors, despite allegations that Whiskey ended up giving out free tickets towards the end of the show because he just want people to come. But the fact remains that. 90% of the show was already sold out. 90% of the show, of the ticket was already sold. So, I don't know if the rumors are true because check on Twitter. You see people post a receipt of them paying just £2 to go into the show towards the end. But the fact that man, 90% of the ticket were sold. That's what I know. But towards the hand, they might be issuing free tickets. It doesn't really mean. The show to me was sold out. It wasn't even easy to get 20,000. It wasn't easy to get 1,000 people to come to Afrobeat RT show as at 10 years ago. But nowadays, you see white falls, different rays coming to Afrobeat shows. No, it's so, it's so much incredible. So this is backstage of uh, Wizkid after he was done performing. So Shea Vibe was there. What they call uh, King Promise. So many of them were there, guys, just to celebrate with him. And they also came on stage also to perform before Wizkid uh came on stage so overall it was a beautiful show and think we all should be happy this is another one for alpha beat and read the rest of the video guys bye <laughs>